In this video, we're going to go over how you can use Storyflint's ultimate character builder notion template to create some really compelling characters. After you purchase the ultimate character builder template and have duplicated it into your workspace, you'll see a characterless database ready for you to use. Start creating a new character by clicking the new button here or by clicking this blue new button on the top right. Make sure the character builder template page template is set by default by clicking the down arrow icon next to new. If it's not set to default, click the three dots next to the page template's name and select set as default. Let's click new and get started. When the new character page has done populating the template, give your character a name. Then select whether the character is a major character, a minor character, or an antagonist. Scroll down to the body of the page to see the loaded guide, profile, backstory, and questionnaire sections. You can remove this placeholder image and place whatever image you want for your character. Just be sure to place the image at the very top of the page body so it shows in the character list gallery view. Open up the guide by clicking the toggle arrow. Scroll down and open step one of the guide, choosing your character's archetype. In this section, you'll see a list of archetypes to choose from on the left, and on the right is your character's archetypes. Currently, we're looking at a list of Kaling archetypes, but you can view other lists of archetypes such as Hero's Journey archetypes and a list of others. Select an archetype for your character from one of these lists by clicking the six dots next to the archetype's name and then drag it over into your character's archetype list on the right. If you want to remove an attribute from your character, scroll up to the top of the page and click the minus icon next to the attribute. Let's add the archetype again. When you're done, collapse the character archetype section. Next, open the Enneagram section. Like the archetype section, on the left is a list of Enneagram personalities and on the right is where your character's selected Enneagram will go. Select an Enneagram for your character by clicking it and then dragging it over to the right. When you're done, collapse the Enneagram section. Open the character goal section. Study your character's archetype and Enneagram personality on the left to help you develop your character's goal. Enter your character's goal here. Now on to developing your character's lie. This is the florid viewpoint about themselves or the world. Based on your character's archetype, Enneagram, and goal on the left, come up with a lie that your character believes. The next step is to select positive character traits for your character. This step is broken down into four sub-steps. Moral attributes, achievement attributes, interactive attributes, and identity attributes. Select from the list of moral attributes and drag them to your character's positive traits list to the right of it. Do the same for achievement, interactive, and identity attributes. If you want to remove any positive traits you've selected, scroll up to the top of the page and click the minus icon next to the one you wish to remove. After selecting positive character traits comes selecting negative ones. Study what you've built so far for your character and select negative traits that work. Select from the list of negative traits and drag them into your character's negative traits list next to it. Step 7 is developing your character's ghost, the trauma that has made them believe their lie. Enter your character's ghost here. Next, you'll need to select what needs your character has. Select from the list of need examples on the left and drag them over to your character's list on the right. Do the same thing for the last step. Select values for your character. Study what you've built about your character on the left. Select values from the list of examples and drag them over to the right. After this step, you've finished the guide. Open the character profile section and you'll find a blank template to fill out which includes areas such as your character's appearance, family, and background. Also in this section, you can toggle open a few character questions to answer that are related to family and relationships. Scroll down and you'll find a section for your character's personality with the archetype and enneagram you selected from the guide as well as frequent emotions your character will usually experience based on the positive and negative traits you selected. Keep scrolling and you'll find your character's goal, lie, needs and values you selected and developed. And below that are your character's positive and negative traits. In the backstory section, you'll see your character's ghost and more toggles for character questions to help you build your character's backstory. The character questionnaire section contains the rest of the 175 character questions broken into relevant categories. Use these questions to help build your character even more. After you are done using the guide on your new character, 
You can delete this section since all the information is already displayed in the character's profile section. Scroll up to the top of the page and see all the attributes you've built for your character. And that's it. Repeat these steps to build an infinite amount of characters for your story or campaign. Check out StoryFlint's ultimate character builder notion template at storyflint.com.